Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z100 Plus. The Z100 Plus is designed for use with any 100 watt HF radio. This video will help you get your Z100 Plus up and running quickly and is a supplement to the information contained in the Z100 Plus owner's manual. We'll begin by taking a look at how to install the Z100 Plus. First, we'll look at how to hook up the Z100 Plus to any radio and later we'll show how to use the optional ICOM and Yaesu interface cables. First, turn off your radio. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the HF antenna jack of the radio to the TX jack on the Z100+. Connect your antenna's coax feed line to the antenna jack on the back of the Z100+. He recommends that you also connect your Z100 Plus to station ground using the provided wing nut marked ground shown here. Connect the 12 volt DC coax plug to the jack marked power on the Z100 Plus. You're now ready to get started using your Z100 Plus. Tuning with the Z100 Plus is simple. Set the radio to the frequency you'd like to use and set the radio for a continuous carrier mode like CW or AM. If your radio does not have an SWR rollback circuit, reduce power to 25 watts before tuning. While transmitting a carrier, press the tune button on the front of the Z100 Plus for one second. Continue transmitting until the tuning cycle completes. Now set the radio to the desired mode and power level and you're ready to transmit. CQ, CQ. To bypass the Z100 Plus, press the Tune button momentarily. Press the Tune button again to return to active mode. If you have a compatible Yaesu radio, such as the FT-857 or 897, the side Yaesu interface cable makes tuning even easier. To install, First, turn off the radio. Plug the black end of the interface cable into the jack marked radio interface on the Z100 Plus. Plug the red end into the ACC jack on the radio. Now, to tune, simply select your operating mode and frequency, then press the Tune button on the Z100 Plus for one second. The radio will automatically begin transmitting a low-power tuning carrier and stop transmitting when the tuning cycle is complete. If you own a compatible ICOM radio that has a 4-pin Molex tuner connector, operation is also simplified. To install the ICOM interface cable, first, turn off your radio. Plug the 4-pin Molex connector into the tuner jack on the radio. Plug the DC coax plug into the power jack on the Z100 Plus. Plug the 8-inch stereo plug into the radio interface jack. The Z100 Plus is powered directly from the ICOM radio. Tuning may be performed by pressing the Tuner Call button on the front of the radio. Again, the radio automatically starts transmitting a low power tuning carrier and stops transmitting when the tuning cycle is done. The tuner may be bypassed by pressing the Tuner button again momentarily. The Z100 Plus is designed to use an optional internal battery pack for more portability. To install your own 6-cell battery pack, first remove the four screws that hold on the lid of the Z100 Plus. Slide the lid forward and lift it off. To demonstrate, we'll install this 6-cell AA battery holder. A AAA battery holder also works. Locate the J8 and J9 pads on the circuit board near the push button. Using a soldering iron and some desoldering braid, 
Clean out the solder in the solder pads. Carefully solder the red or positive wire from the battery pack onto pad J9. Solder the black or negative wire to pad J8. To mount the battery holder inside the Z100 Plus, apply double-sided foam tape to the back of the battery holder. Peel the back of the tape and press the battery holder in place on top of the relays. Insert six AA alkaline batteries, being careful to observe correct polarity. Carefully slide the lid back on and reinstall the four screws. Your Z100 Plus will now operate without requiring any external power. That's all for now. Be sure to read your Z100 Plus owner's manual to fully enjoy the benefits of your Z100 Plus tuner.